is not working. Yeah. I think that's actually a snake hanging up there. What you said, we get an F on preparedness. Like literally, we're not even a mile down the road and we need to pull one of these off and put it in the exhibition. So we're gonna do that. Whoa, this is getting really narrow. I hope this takes us through. It has been an interesting several days. If you remember from last week's episode, we had a little problem with our toad and braking system. We did finally arrive safe and sound at our destination in the Florida Keys. After pulling into our campsite after dark, of course, it was late and we called it a day. It's as far as I can go. But you have to stretch for it. Give it to me. Lower. Lower. It's Get it. No. <laughs> You, you bring it to my get, legs. Get it. Get Why it. Gotta jump just a smidge. Oh. I don't <laughs> want to oh see it. Come on. Really, dude? Nom. Nom, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Wow. Mm, I love easy. So bacon. Easy. RV life looks different for us now versus how it used to be when we first got started. We've learned to be a little bit more laid back in our travel style and how to keep meals simple. Ooh, look at that golden brown. Wow, look at that. Blackstone grilled cheese, baby. Another thing we've learned is how to camp on the cheap. This campground, Fiesta Key RV Resort, is part of our Thousand Trails membership, and we can stay here for only $20 a night. And the best part? You can paddleboard from right here at the campground. The water in the Keys is so clear, and the marine life is plentiful. For me, there's just something about being on the water, feeling the ocean breeze, and gentle rocking of the paddleboard. It's a peaceful and serene escape from the sometimes hectic world. I'm like tempted to try standing up. Do it. Tempted to try. Yeah, just do it. Just stay wide. Just stay wide. Yeah, with your feet. And speaking of things being hectic, we don't share a lot of our personal struggles on our channel as we really want to share the most helpful tips and tricks when it comes to RV life with our viewers. And we try to keep our personal lives pretty private. Do it In for the, the community. <laughs> No. Like this video if you think I should try standing up. But we're gonna do something a little different with this video and share some personal struggles we've been through lately. And because we firmly believe that there is something powerful in our stories. Do it, do it. She's gonna stand up, attempting. You got this. And success. So our prayer is as we share more in this video that maybe, just maybe, Others who find themselves going through a hard season will realize that they're not the only ones on the struggle bus. At the end of the summer, we found ourselves at a crossroad, a decision point really, one of those times in life where you feel you're presented with only a few options and none of them are easy. A little more on that later, but for now, it's time to wrap up this first day with an epic sunset. <laughs> It has been an interesting several days here in the Keys, just from one, getting in super late to then Ben getting sick. But anyway, today is a big day because it is Thanksgiving and we are having our Friendsgiving with our friends, Tim and Melinda, that we did this last year with. So just wanted to show you kind of what I've got going on here at the moment. So in this Instant Pot, I've got a turkey. Yes, I do. So a whole turkey in that one. And then over here in this Instant Pot, I have got a ham. Over here in just a little bit, I will have corn on the cob and stuffing. And then I've got rolls in here that will be warmed up. And then Tim and Melinda are doing the mashed potatoes, the gravy. He did. Did you meet up with friends? Oh yes, I did all the things. I did the number ones and the number twos. So he's all pooped out, huh? Yep, he's pooped out. Cool, well thanks for taking him down to the dog park. I'm sure he yeah. enjoyed that. So are you guys ready for a Thanksgiving dinner here in a little bit? Probably. Yes. All that paddle boarding makes one hungry. Mm -hmm. This is our second Friendsgiving in the Florida Keys, and we plan on many more Friendsgivings in the future. Our V-Life used to be pretty lonely when we first got started, and it took us a while to find our people on the road, and so we're very thankful for great travel friends to be able to connect and share life with. You'll have to let us know in the comments, do you prefer to travel with others or go it alone? All right, so what have we got going on? 
Come here, I'll show you. We are up a creek, literally without a paddle. What do you do when you know something isn't gonna work? You have ha we have half a paddle. Half a paddle. You improvise. So what I figured we could do is just take some gorilla tape and a flagpole buddy. And we make it work. If the gorilla tape gets wet, do you foresee this being an issue? No. Gorilla tape works with anything. So we just we'll just gorilla tape it on. This is very, very nice long. Paddle. You sure you don't want to shorten that? Wow, that is really hard. You never say that to a man. <laughs> but you don't think that take this part off, Dad. <laughs> no, 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 that'll be too short. That's what she said. <laughs> No, see? That's what? more that's more that's, like that's too short. That's what do you mean? Very like, long. Short. Go get another paddle. Well actually What do you mean by too short? That's it. Yo, you said you yeah. never shorten. So <laughs> actually you're probably right. Although no no no, they extend. But you yeah. don't okay. extend You're them. gonna use the improvised paddle though, right? Right. I will. Alright. So it needs to be this long at least. We'll find I don't out know. if it works. We'll find out. We're about to find out. Alright, paddle boarding at sunset. Let's go. Not yet. You guys ever seen uh, seahorses? What is that? You feel it. It's sand. I don't want to feel it, but. Ew. Touch it. It's from the bottom. Oh, gross. It's like, it's, ugh, it stinks. It's like fish food, I think. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Hi. Hello. That's such a nice sunset. It is. And I'm going to have to say that. Really? We've been down to the Keys a ton. Lots to do and see. But if you're gonna only do one thing, this is the one thing you wanna do. Absolutely. You could probably just do this and that's it and be, have fun. And there's a ton of places to do it, which will be coming. Yum. Remember the struggle bus I was referring to earlier? This week of time spent in the Keys was such a breath of fresh air for our family because just a few months earlier, Ben and I were faced with the fact that how we were interacting with each other and communicating with and treating one another really left us in a place where we knew we would not be married to each other come next summer if things did not change. Taking a walk in the morning and having time to sit and truly listen to each other was something we never did before. Talking would tend to turn into conflict and we would both end up feeling hurt and disconnected when the conversation was over. However, this visit to the Keys for us was very different because we enjoyed getting out each morning and sitting and truly connecting with one another. Now, this would have never happened if it hadn't been for some steps that we took just a few months ago, which I'll tell you about a little bit later in this video. It's been an interesting trip down here so far because several of us have gotten sick. So we've been literally just holed up in the RV for the last several days. But today we are going to head to a epic location and actually one of the places where you can camp down here for cheap. So we're gonna go check that out here in just a few minutes because we actually have reservations there next month. So I wanna check it out for that, but also because they have some great paddle boarding at this particular place. So right now, Ben and Tim are trying to fit the paddle boards on the expedition. This is totally like a learning trip for us because there's so many things that are different and new, the expedition being one. Also trying to transport paddle boards that are inflated versus having to try to figure out inflation once we get there. So hopefully they fit on the roof rack the way we're thinking and don't blow off between here and Key Largo because it's about a 45 minute drive that we've got to go down the overseas highway. And if we lose one of them, it would be really, really bad and there'd be no getting it back. I just want to get them all in. All right, you guys ready? Ready, you yeah. got all of the camera stuff? Got all the things. Okay. And thanks, thanks to Tim, at MacGyver Tim here that had all the straps and everything to help us strap it down, so. Oh, we he came to the rescue once again in our unpreparedness. <laughs> what you said, we get an F on preparedness, but I added it all to the packing list. So next time, yep. it's now on the packing Perfect. list. We just keep adding to it as we go every single time that we realize, oh, we didn't have this or that. The packing yep. list just keeps growing. That's so how you do it. You <laughs> fail forward, right, kids? Fail forward. Yep. All the learn time. from our mistakes. All right, we ready? Let's do this. This is not working. Thankfully, Tim and Melinda are right behind us because they were able to tell us that the paddleboard was bouncing. So like literally we're not even a mile down the road and we need to pull one of these off and put it in the exhibition. So we're gonna do that. 
and then hopefully be on our way. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, the joys. John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park was the first undersea park in the U.S. and the park encompasses approximately 70 nautical square miles. The mangrove swamps and tropical hammocks in the park's upland areas offer visitors a unique experience and there's an RV campground with full hookups. Hello! Four. Okay, it's Did you have, you have this guy? Okay. <coughs> there you go. Thank you. How have a good one. We brought the paddle boards up for the day to explore more of the mangrove tunnels and explore the park. Probably put a couple of snacks in the dry bag just in case. Yeah. Nobody should get hangry that way. So. Okay. All right. All right. Getting closer. John Pennekamp State Park. Amazing, amazing place for paddling, especially if mangrove tunnels are something that sounds fun for Alaska, you. Come here. So we'll have some information in the description below on the Florida State Park System. Here is another thing that's interesting. Also put information in the description below. Right now, through January the 13th, you can save 50% off your Florida State Park Pass because there are like some state parks here in the Keys that you definitely want to put on your must see, must travel bucket list. So quick lunch before we go paddling. What do we have today? You guys have sandwiches? Chicken salad. Chicken salad. Pretzels. Yeah. Well, it's like it's peanut butter. It's like root vegetables. So oh, your homemade like sweet butter? potato. Oh. No, and plantain. And plantain. Okay. Can I have some strawberries? No, oh, yeah, of course we are. Okay, right, so there's apples and bananas or some pirate booty. I'll take some strawberries too. Remember a few minutes ago when I told you about some steps we took a few months earlier that changed things for us? Well, part of that was taking sort of a sabbatical from travel life. We are super thankful for our glamper hideaway because it gave us a soft place to land while we took time to get some outside help. And for us, that meant seeing a marriage counselor to help us realize where we had gone off the rails and how to get back on track. It meant understanding that a lot of the messages our culture sends to us don't always contribute to a healthy marriage. And it meant we needed to take a break from traveling in the RV for a few months so we could meet with a counselor regularly. We know many of you have left comments letting us know you do prefer travel videos over how-to type of content, and we do appreciate your feedback. And we have a lot more travel content coming but we did need to take a step back from traveling to prioritize our marriage and our family. And we know we're taking a risk in sharing more of our personal story and struggle with you all here on a public facing platform, but we also wanna be authentic. There is a lot of inauthenticity on social media and video platforms, and we don't wanna be sharing just the epic and feel good moments, but the deep struggles as well. And like I mentioned earlier, our hope and prayer is that maybe, just maybe, Someone watching this video will realize they're not alone in their struggles and that there is hope for change and that things can be different than what they currently are. All right, we finally made it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh no. All right, you guys are gonna hold the paddle boards? Yeah, we're gonna hold it down. Well, at least if you fall, you have something soft to land on. Got some bad news. It's anyway. We're trying to get out of here. <laughs> this is totally our mo. I'm tired. You're tired of a hot mess. Yes. What is? Oh, I know. I'm not saying yes to you being a hot mess, but <laughs> so you remember that screeching noise when we brought the slides in? You remember? Yes, it happens all the time. So yeah, did you so, figure out what it is? Yeah. Yep. So. And? The basement compartment, I did not ask you. The basement compartment is coming apart from the slide. Um, the metal piece and it's, it's hanging on by a, like a, a thread basically. You can see like a, like half of it has kind of come apart from the piece of metal that joins it to the slide. So we're gonna have to have it welded or something back on. So someone's gonna have to get up under there and weld it. 
or, or something. I don't know how that works, but the basement compartments are heavy. Is it problematic for like today? No, I don't. I think, I mean, we've been getting by with it for a while. I yeah, think. now we've been getting by with it for a while, but. But something we're gonna have to get address. It's gonna be super sad saying goodbye to our neighbors. Tim and Melinda. Man, I'm telling you, one of the things that I feel like that we've learned more and more is just really the value of RV community. Tim and Melinda have been next to us this whole time that we've been here. My toe got bit up by ants yesterday. Melinda brought me over some homeopathics. I mean, it's just like neighbors are the best when you know your neighbors and uh, you can just do life together. We've been doing meals, all of it. Definitely find your people on the road. Not everybody that you meet out there is going to be your people, but when you find your people, man, stick tight with those RV buddies. The puppies, the super cute puppies. Look at the puppies. The dog's escaping. Good oh boy. In Alaska to go do his business. <laughs> That's awesome. If you didn't catch last week's episode, we'll have that for you right up here. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.